This is a new game people wanted me to look at to see if it was any good. It's called uh, Blight Survival. Uh, obviously, I mean, this obviously looks very good. Uh, we've got right here a, uh, a guy in a crusader outfit and a medieval village. This looks good so far. I'm almost already sold. Let's see what it is. Here, see. Pretty awful gameplay is a work in progress. Doesn't reflect final quality. Okay, yeah, so this is exactly what the game's going to look like whenever it actually comes out in like a year or so. Yeah, this is the exact same thing. So if you don't like what you see here, it will never change. I hope it doesn't change. This is great. Yeah. All right. Well, now what? Okay. It's got a health bar. You guys might not be able to see that, but uh, let me see if I can move it up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. This looks... In, in a funny way, this looks like a lot of the New World cities. Yeah, it's like this is a more first-person version of New World, almost. Alright. Journal updated. Okay. I feel like the combat is a little bit too much. Yeah, it's a bit much. Too much shaking. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we just looted that autumn skull cap. All right. Okay. Steel ingot. I still find it so funny that the World of Warcraft rarity system, the legendaries are orange, rares are blue, epics are purple, and, you know, usually, like, either really good items, like set items, like from Diablo, or, you know, just uncommon items are green. It's like, everybody just uses this. It's just been accepted. Legend yeah, legendary is orange. Everybody knows that. Yeah, stop trying to, ch stop trying to confuse us here. Stop warming your balls and get over here! Okay. Hey, are you listening to me? Sure, I, I am. You're hearing me. You ain't listening. I'll leave off, Granger. Look at him, or I'll make you. Okay. Right, calm down, will you? Alright, I'm looking. What did I say then, mate? Hey? What was the pain? That's it. That painted armor. Bloody savages, didn't I say? Yeah, you said it, Grinder. Okay. Get off him. Oh, you think he's got blight? Sometimes it's harder to spot, yeah? Gets in your veins first. Clogs up your It's a lot of stealth here. Before you know it. For being able to one-shot everybody, I don't know what we're doing here. Just show up there, pull out the sword, and start cutting them up. It only gets worse after that death. Oh, there you go. It's one guy all by himself. Pull a fucking splinter cell on his ass. Oh. I feel like it would have been a bit higher for him to get the lung, but okay. Dosorian guard, short, -sealed, short sword hilt. Okay, so you should... Maybe you can craft your own weapons in this game. Yeah, it's a kidney shot. Okay, it's a bow. I like that. We've got the little dot in the middle of the screen. How many of you guys, you know, if you were playing CS 1.6, you took a fucking, uh, a Sharpie. And you put the dot on the middle of the screen on your CRT monitor 
So you didn't have to zoom in. I fucking did that. We did that at, with every fucking monitor at school. Yep. Okay. make an offering the graphics look really nice I mean let's be honest I think the graphics look really appealing uh, they're they're well put together the, the game visually looks great there's other concerns I have I'll talk about that whenever it finishes all right so anyway I feel like the combat is I feel like it's kind of boring, and I don't understand what the what is this here. Five minute gameplay to a third person cinematic action adventure survival game. Developers describe as an action horror roguelike with four player co op as well. New Blight is raising the dead, and your choice of medieval weapons and warfare to stop at wish list on Steam. Uh, I really like the aesthetic of the game. I I love the idea of it. I love the style of the game. I think it's fucking great. But I just don't really know about having this like really, really close up camera perspective. I feel like it takes away from a lot of the, uh, you know, the immersion that you can have in the game. It, it's very close in and um, maybe people like that. But for me, I prefer having games that I can kind of, uh, yeah, I can't see shit. Exactly. Uh, I prefer having games that I can get a better lay of the land on. And also like maybe that are a little bit more open in general. With the, with the combat, it seemed like it was very much like you just engage combat with an NPC and then the NPC dies because it's like an animation. You see kind of what I'm saying? It's like, you know, like in Gears of War, whenever you get with the chainsaw and you just cut them in half, right? Like you're not moving the chainsaw down with your, uh, with like your joystick. It just happens. So I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. Press X to execute. Exactly. So it's like a good way of doing that, in my opinion, is something like Assassinations in Halo, where, like, if you melee somebody from the back, it one-shots them. Because, like, it, it's directional, it's usage of game mechanics, and it's also, like, not super jarring. Like, a lot of the combat here at the beginning felt very jarring to me. And I just really hope that they can make this game something that looks fun. Because, I'm gonna be honest, guys, like, I see something like this... And I'm fucking excited. I love games with this medieval aesthetic, especially whenever it's like this like bleak fucking like zombie uh, plague post-apocalyptic type thing. I think it's so fucking cool, man. So I really hope this game is good. And um, I, I don't know. I'd be curious to actually play it. Whenever the game comes out, hopefully I'll be able to get a key for it and, and play it and, and give feedback on it. Yeah, it's a brutal game. Yeah, dark fantasy. I love that shit, man. Shadow War made it very satisfying with executions. Yeah, I think so too. I just prefer Souls-like combat, which is like much more open and determined by like how you approach a situation. And it's very free. I think having combat be free is what it comes down to. Because whenever I play like a game like Hades, for example, which is another roguelike, the combat is very free form and you can do what you want. And there's like different things that like a good player can do to differentiate themselves. So I think we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'm really excited to see, like, a game like Dark and Darker as well that puts a medieval spin on, like, the extraction tile, extraction style uh, of, of Tarkov. So, yeah, I think this is really interesting. Railroad combat, exactly. Souls combat is very animation locky for me. Hate the input lag feeling. Well, that's true. I agree with you. But the animation lock in this seems like it's five seconds and not five milliseconds. So uh, that's kind of what my concern is. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Nice combat. Yeah, Neo Combat was the best one. I haven't played that game yet. I'm not sure.
But yeah, uh, let's read some of the comments are mixing, zo mixing zombie apocalypse and medieval is honestly a really cool and unique idea. It looks really fun. I agree with that. Waiting for this trailer for half a year. This guy's making an incredible game. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, like, this is my opinion, too. Like, I don't think they should, like, change what they're doing with the game because I don't have this opinion. But this is just my feedback. This is just what I think about it, looking at it. Killing animations, looting animations are insane. Graphics are also amazing. Can't wait for more. I always worry that, like, whenever the killing and looting animations are insane, I, I feel like the problem with something like that is that it becomes very old very fast. It's like it, it's it's really cool whenever you first start playing the game, but after you've been playing it for a few hours, you're like, okay, can I fast forward this? Can I go through this? It, it, yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's already looks stunning, and it, it works well with like a single player game because it's all designed in that aesthetic. But whenever you have a multiplayer game, I think that people, uh, you know, can get annoyed by that. As opposed to what? Um, I, I think like walking over like a corpse. Like I, I think a game like this would function well with the PUBG type inventory and looting system where like you walk over something and then you see all the items and you decide which ones you want to put in your inventory. No, I think that works with other games. It should work with uh, with this or, or Dark and Darker, right? Where you walk over a corpse and you just see all the items and you put them in your inventory. Uh, I, I think that's it's a lot cleaner and it, it, it's it's certainly not as sexy, okay? It's not as sexy. It doesn't look as cool. But I think it works. There's a lot of things that don't look good, but they fucking work. So exactly a city in the Lord of the Rings series? Well, I haven't seen that yet. I want to watch it. Looks very pre-scripted. I don't think the looting animations will be the same at release, like The Division. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for this game, man. It's actually what zombies and infected games need, different settings and different timelines. Yeah, I think also it depends on like what really the game loop is. Like, roguelikes can get a little bit uh, tiresome, in my opinion, whenever you have, like, a playthrough that lasts, uh, y you know, it lasts for, like, 20 minutes and you're just doing this playthrough over and over and over again. Like, I, I, can, I can see that getting pretty boring, especially if it's a, uh, it's a PvE game. I I'm really curious to know, like, what the scope of this is. You know, is it, like, 100 people that get put in? It's, like, a battle royale type thing? I, I don't know. That's every roguelike? Yeah, yeah, I, I think that that is to an extent. It's just that how long the match duration is. Vampire Survivors is just like that? Um, what is the difference between Vampire Survivors and not? I think the, it's the amount of external progression that I get inside of Vampire Survivors. Yeah, but I guess it depends on what the combat is. Let's see here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, game looks good. I'm very interested in it. Hopefully it will, uh, it will be even better.